Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's trying to find balance between two things. They could be trying to get their priorities in order. There's a, a, an energy of really trying to focus on one thing here. They may have a lot on their plate right now. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Ten of Wands. In the reverse fire energy yeah it looks like someone who's been burdened by a lot of responsibilities um or there's just something you know that's kind of taking their energy and it does look like they are wanting to remove one thing so that they can make more time for something that means more to them um so we are seeing someone who is approaching burnout and they are aware that certain changes need to be made um there's an energy here of them having been giving you less than what you deserve uh, because they've just had so much on their plates. It looks like practical issues more so than having another connection, but it could be something like that. Like if this person has another connection that requires them to be responsible, like if they have kids elsewhere, you know, it looks like there's something that's really taking up a lot of their energy and they, they are aware that they need to make changes. And, um, with the, with the page of pentacles, this is someone who does want to prove themselves to you because they actually are, very committed to you. They do want stability with you. Their heart lies with you more than anything else. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of a, a new beginning. This can be an offer. Um, it looks like they could be giving you something like giving you their word or giving you an apology or giving you a promise. But it's something you can really count on because they mean what they're saying. There is value in what they're giving you here. Okay, so let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles again, Earth Energy, the Three of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. This person is determined to not disappoint you. It looks like they may have disappointed you before because there's this feeling of them wanting to make up for that, wanting your forgiveness, wanting to heal the situation and explaining themselves, you know, kind of wanting to really prove themselves to you. Um, there's definitely an energy of someone who is, you know, really going the extra mile here. And with the Knight of Wands, they again, they're very passionate and motivated towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Yeah, it's someone who's having to really make certain adjustments and to prioritize things to prove themselves to you. Okay, so let's see.
Okay, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So they do want to have that heart-to-heart -heart with you. They want to keep it real with you. Um, this is someone who wants to explain something to you, make something more clear to you. Um, and again, they want you to know that you are a priority to them. This is someone who regrets letting you down. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have apple blossoms, choices, knowledge, and illumination. Whites are the flowers of apple tree that brings us fruits of fertility. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Aries. Okay, so we have surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.